How y'all doing, guys? Paul running back here again. You know, guys, last night I talked about uh, doing a, not a mock draft, but a trade scenario, trade back scenario, that uh, similar to what Jeff Cavanaugh did in the video I mentioned yesterday. Uh, similar to what he did, but something I might have preferred. And guys, it was a crazy day today. I didn't get a chance to do that. However, I did want to ask you, <coughs> excuse me. I was watching uh, a show about the Detroit Lions and their draft process last season, and Brad Holmes said something to me that really stuck out. And they were talking about how, um, you know, when they took Jameer Gibbs at 12, and of course we know last year that a lot of people criticized taking a running back that high. Well, Brad Holmes, they were asking him about that. And what Brad Holmes said was that they don't draft positions, they draft good football players. And I really like that statement because really at the end of the day, you know, you can draft for need. That's never a good thing, right? I mean, of course, you know, some teams have to do it. Sometimes you have to do it. And sometimes your need is is also the best player on the board if you're lucky. But I like that he said that because really, you know, you just, you always want good football players, obviously, right? But if you don't focus so much on position, you can really – fill all your needs and still get good players. It's just a different order. And we've seen the Cowboys do that too. And the reason I bring this up is because I think the Cowboys can do this in this, do exactly that in this draft. And yesterday from the Twitter account, I tweeted out a, uh, I posted, tweeted, whatever, whatever it's called now from the Cowboys pod account. I asked, how would you feel if the Cowboys came away from the draft with these players? And it was Edger and Cooper linebacker from Texas A&M, Trey Benson, and Van Pran, Cedric Van Pran out of Georgia. Now, linebacker typically isn't a position that she would want to take in the first round just because it's not a high-value position or, you know, to some people. I think uh, Jack Campbell, again, that was another player, Jack Campbell for the Lions at 18, who turned out to be a really, really good player, elevated their defense. Excuse me. And we know that the Cowboys need linebackers. Edger Cooper would be the best linebacker in this draft. And then Trey Benson, again, he would have to be probably a second-round pick, and he'd be lucky if he fell to 56. However, him and Jonathan Brooks are arguably the best running backs in this class. Some people have Jonathan Brooks. Some people have Trey Benson. We, The Cowboys would be lucky to have either one. But, again, that's a position that's really not that high-valued. However, you, again, would be getting the best player at that position. So, um, you know, when Brad Holmes – mention that and maybe think about that tweet and I wanted to get your guys thoughts on that do you do you when you when you're drafting like you know you're doing a mock draft or whatever and you're, you're watching the draft do you value more good players or do you value the the position and what do you think the Cowboys should do should they just go out and get good players or do you think that they have so many holes to fill that they need to fill those holes. And if they do fill those holes, they could be right back to the best team in the NFC East and right back to making a playoff run. Um, I'm going to end it there, guys. I don't want to start rambling. It's been a long day. So I hope you guys are having a good Friday night. Be safe. As always, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.